talk to you today about shielding gases and MIG welding. But before I get into the shielding gases, I want to talk a little bit about safety. And anytime you're dealing with a shielding gas, whether it's a MIG or a TIG process or any process using a shielding gas, you definitely want to make sure that your bottle's chained up. Just like mine is here, you want to make sure it's chained up nice and tight so it doesn't fall over. The first gas I want to talk about is 100% CO2. Again, we're talking about MIG welding. 100% CO2 is the most economical gas to use when it comes to MIG welding. It gives you the deepest penetration, which does a great job for you, but it has a little downside to it, and that's spatter. So if you're welding, let's say, on the underside of your race car or a trailer, and you're not going to see the welds, then 100% CO2 is great for that. You're not going to see it, so the aesthetics really doesn't matter. But if, you, if you're going after aesthetics, maybe you're going to weld on the side of your car or it's a, it's a nice motorcycle and you need to rip, do a repair weld, then you're going to want to go to mixed gas. And anytime you use a mixed gas, the cost goes up. So 75-25 gas would cost more than 100% CO2. The most common gas for the home hobbyist would be 7525. That's 75 argon, 25 CO2. That's the gas that gives you the best aesthetics. So if you're gonna put a weld on the side of your race car or a weld that's gonna show somewhere, you definitely wanna use the mixed gas. And you can also jump up to an 8515, which is 85 argon, 15 CO2. That gas is designed for heavier plate or steel having a lot of mill scale on it. 8515 does a great job for that. Then you can jump up to 9010, which is 90 argon, 10 CO2. That's designed for like the spray transfer mode used on heavy or thick, thick sections. Um, 9010 will do a great job for you on that. If aesthetics of your weld is important, then you're going to definitely want to use a mixed gas like 7525 for that. And if your weld doesn't show, then you can use CO2 gas for that. That'll do a great job for you also. If you want more information on shielding gases, you can visit our website at www.lincolnelectric.com.